Hello, my name is Ashlyn and I love everything makeup, eyeshadow especially. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll put my name on the screen so you can find it easily. And like always, if you like my videos, do like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. So today we are doing a Adams Family inspired Halloween look. I have to do Adams Family pretty much every year because <laughs> it was my childhood. So I want to try to put as much Adam's family kind of like um, imagery into this look as best as I can. So I am I already prepped my eyes with eyeshadow primer. I wanted to do a eye look based off of Morticia because it's Morticia. And my favorite rendition of Morticia was um, Angelica Houston's version best one of all time and her eye makeup in that absolutely gorgeous so i wanted to do not something like completely the same but like inspired by right so that's what the eye look is going to be and then i'll add other stuffs on my face <laughs> to represent other characters so i am going to be using for the eye look mostly the bh cosmetics venom palette that i have it's so good I love this one for like a smoky black gray kind of look. And I'm probably gonna be using the black out of my Glaminatrix Cosmetics uh, Nocturnal palette because it has a really good like matte black. It's really, really nice in here. So I'm gonna use that one probably. But we're gonna start with uh, the Venom palette first. And I'm going to start with this shade right here. It is called Slithering. It's a really nice gray, medium toned gray shade. And we are going to put it on the outermost corner of my eye and up into my crease. was everything to me when I was a kid. I absolutely loved everything about the Addams Family and I used to watch the um the original TV show. I think it was on um I forget what the channel is called. Uh TV Land I think, right? TV Land? I think that's what it was called. Um they would do reruns all the time of the Addams Family and I would watch it every single time it was on. <laughs> that and the Munsters obsessed with those two shows when I was a kid. Absolutely loved them. Probably why I am the way that I am now. <laughs> when I was a kid, my favorite out of the Addams Family was Wednesday because I was a kid and she was a kid, right? So like you kind of make connections with the characters, right? And then as I got older, I started liking Morticia more. And you kind of like, you grow with the characters, right? I also really liked Uncle Fester. <laughs> he was one of my favorites too. Mostly just because he was just so like fun loving and goofy. And sh very strange. <laughs> All right, so with the same color, I'm gonna do my underneath of my eye and just bring it down towards the bottom. And I'm stopping it like right where my pupil is because I want this part and like this part to be really, really light. It's gonna be white. <laughs> so I want very high contrast. Now we're gonna go on to the next shade, which is going to be, I don't wanna, I was like tapping the brush over top of the shadow, so I don't wanna like dump it everywhere, but uh, this purpley shade right here, it is called Bad Blood, and I'm going to grab a smaller brush just to have a bit more control. I'll use this one just because it's flatter. Like I can um, 
it's like more rectangular. It's clean, it's just stained again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna use this one because I can like really um, get into the crease area with it. Yeah, just basically just darkening up that color. What I always found fun about The Adam Family though, the TV show back in, I think it was like the 50s, right? They made that, 50s or 60s. Um, people, because the show was in black and white, right? People always assumed that everything was black and white. <laughs> like everything was dark and um spooky i mean it was spooky but like it wasn't uh, i mean now people know because they've talked about it so much but um when i first found out that it wasn't like the whole house of the show wasn't black and white like it wasn't like the gothic dark everything aesthetic you know it was actually really bright and colorful <laughs> The, uh, the, like, the living room of that show was bright pink and, um, like, mint green. And it had, like, gold accents and reds and a bunch of colors, actually. I always found that fun. <laughs> For some reason. Like their clothes and stuff were black, but their house wasn't black. It was actually pretty, pretty colorful. Cause like the whole um, point of the Adams family was going against the normal, you know, of society. Like they were the outcasts, they were the weird ones. So like they had to make it um, fitting for the time period, right? So like they kept because like back back then the aesthetics was like pastels, right? So they kept that a bit for like the time period, right? But they added like all of the animal heads in the house and like the very intricate um like Victorian and Gothic inspired decor and it's it was just really cool the way they made that TV show. Because, like, it did give their very strange and not what everyone else is doing, but also, like, they're trying <laughs> to be, like, like, they're not trying to be like other people, but they're trying to fit into the time period a little bit with, like, the color story and everything. It was, it's just, like, it's fun. Fun to see. But people they tend to think of everything being black because like in the 90s um they did another rendition right with the movies and everything was black because that was going against the norm of what was going on at that time in society <laughs> which there were like gothic people and stuff throughout all of those time periods but they weren't like uh the most of society was doing, right? They were still uh, against the norm. But when I was a kid, I <clears throat> I really liked um, um, Christina Ricci's uh, Wednesday too. There's a scene in the first movie. This explains how weird I was as a child. <laughs> um, there's a scene in the first movie, Adam's Family movie from the 90s, where Uncle Fester is tucking in Wednesday to sleep. And before she goes to bed, um, she crosses her arms like this and then she <laughs> sleeps. I used to do that as a child <laughs> because I saw it and I was like, hmm. <laughs> I want to be like her. 
This explains a lot, actually. <laughs> I also thought the coolest thing ever was those, um, oh, my eye was watering a little bit. And it made that part really dark. Um, the coolest thing was the, the like shoots that they had outside of the house. So like Wednesday, she would go through her floor and like slide down the chute and be able to go outside of the house. Thought that was the coolest thing in the entire world when I was a kid. <laughs> kind of making that work. Just extending it. Boy, how I love when my eye waters. <laughs> when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use a flat, or a flat, a, a wet brush to try to recreate what happened on this side because my corner of my eye was watering. <laughs> on this side, because this eye is not watering. But <laughs> I'm gonna try, I got like a wet brush, dipped it in the eyeshadow, and I'm gonna try to recreate that line. So it's matching on both sides. No way I can fix it on this side, it's already there. So we're just gonna match it. <laughs> Work with it, work with the mistakes. So now, I am going to, I'm probably gonna use this side just to put on the color and then I'll buff it cause I was like buffing with this brush. I didn't have any product on it. Um, I was just buffing the color a little bit to like spread it out. So I'm gonna use the black out of the nocturnal palette and this one down here. And we're gonna put on that black and then buff it. That's the plan. Perfect! <laughs> I love this look already. I kind of want to use the silver out of, ow, oh, I just bent my fingernail backwards. Um, I want to use the silver out of the Cala palettes because it's so bright and shocking over top of this white. Because I mean like, come on, that shit's like foil. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, like, come on, come on. I can do like Morticia style makeup, but I have to add some of my, my own <laughs> into it, you know? And this is everything to me. It's just so good, it's so good. 
All right, so I had to leave open my inner corner and my brow bone for my other favorite shimmer of all time. It is this one right here. It is out of the Dark Fantasy Beauty Bay palette. Absolute favorite shimmer. Love this one. And I put it all the time in my inner corner and my brow bone. That's why it's almost gone. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to take a small brush. Very small brush. Here, let's pop that into the inner corner. And up on the brow bone. So that's like pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I am going to clean up the shimmer that fell down a bit, um, do my base and everything, put some eyeliner on, and then finish the other parts of this makeup look. All right, and I'm back. So got my whole base done. I did a little gray contour because you got to. So now I am going to do um, some like graphic eyeliner things. So, uh, with a liquid black eyeliner, I'm going to create like a wing on both sides and then I'm going to add little like decal things to it. So I'm going to start with the wing part. Just like that. I'm not going to go all the way across. I just want it on the end. I like that. That's, that's, got, that's pretty cool. All right. This side. So on this side from the wing, I think I want to do like um, a noose because they have like the noose hanging in their living room. <laughs> so I'm going to use white first and then just outline it with the black. I think that would be easiest thing to do. So I am just using my water activated liner in white. It's the Glisten Cosmetics, I think. Yeah. Glisten Cosmetics, wet, wet liner in white. It's called milk, but it's white. And with like a really uh, fine point brush. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. And then from this side, I wanted to do like, um, because Pugsley is into like weaponry, and like bombs and stuff and like TNT. So I wanted to do kind of like this, how it like hangs down, but do like um, like the old school, like red TNT with the, um, the wick going up. I think that would be really cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and I have, it's pink, but it looks very red. So that's what I'm using. I don't have a red but it's my Glamier UV liner. It's this one. On, it looks red. So it's the closest I got to like a TNT kind of color. Very simple, just a square or a rectangle, not a square. I'm okay, a rectangle. <laughs> and then we'll use the black. So now that this is dry, I'm gonna go in with the black and create the little rope effect. That's really cute. That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I wanted to do um, something for Gomez, right? So I wanted to do a black lip with like white stripes, like my shirt, cause like his suit is uh, pinstriped, black and white, right? So I kind of wanted to do that like on my lips. Also why I wore the shirt, cause it goes, but like I wanted to do it on my lips. So for, um, I don't have a black lipstick. So I use a liquid eyeshadow <laughs> by Sample Beauty and it, stays forever and it doesn't smear or anything. So that's what I like to use. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to apply it like lipstick.
I mean, I don't know if it looks like a poison bottle, but it kind of, kind of cute. I really like this look. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put on some lashes and then show you what it looks like with the lashes because uh, I thought I was going to do something else with the eyes so I didn't put lashes on, but we're going to throw some on and then show you the result. I mean, lashes, the importance of lashes, I say it all the time makes everything 10 times better, it really does. <laughs> but I enjoy doing this look. I really like the lip, not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. I like the eye look too with it, it's so cute, I love it. So, if you like my videos, do like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and a happy Halloween.